Here's a list of the top 10 fastest 60 meter athletes in the world for 2023. On this list, we have the NCAA 60 meter specialist, Micah Williams. We have the newly minted sub 6.5 second athlete, Reese Prescott. And we have the 2022 world champion in the 200 meters, Noah Lyles with a new personal best of 6.51 seconds. This top 10 just barely has two athletes this year that have broken 6.5. But then just yesterday, this happened. With a stunning performance of 6.42 seconds, Trayvon Brumell just outperformed anyone's idea of what he was capable of right now. With a flawless start and truly majestic acceleration, he just ran himself into the record books as the sixth fastest athlete in the history of this event. But the real crazy part was the fact that he had just run a 6.46 just one hour earlier, a time that also would have been ranked as the world's fastest this season. Now, in many people's minds, they saw this 60-meter dash as a big response to Noah Lyles, who managed to take down Trayvon Brumell just one week earlier in the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. This win by Lyles was a pretty huge upset, as Bromel is not only favored over the 100 meters, but he was also the 2016 World Indoor Champion in this event. It's a pretty logical assessment to see this 60-meter performance as a huge response to placing second to Noah Lyles. And now, after Bromel's incredible 6.42, the world is now waiting to see what Noah Lyles will do next. In the 2023 Milrose Games, Lyles comes into this 60-meter dash with a huge amount of momentum. In addition to his newfound 60-meter speed, he was completely undefeated in last year's 200-meter campaign, running every single race under the 20-second mark. It seems as though every single new performance that Lyles has brings with it a brand new type of sprinting greatness, and he seems to take advantage of every single moment in his mind. And to make a long story short about Lyles, he's just on fire right now. However, there is a very powerful athlete standing in his way from winning yet another 60 meter dash, and this man is Christian Coleman. In the world of 60 meter greats, Christian Coleman simply has to be the absolute greatest ever. Back in 2018, he achieved the still standing world record with a miraculous time of 6.34 seconds. And then just one month later, he achieved the second fastest time ever at 6.37, a time that earned him an indoor world championship gold medal. When comparing others to Coleman in the indoor 60, it's practically impossible to match him by any metric. However, last season he showed his first real vulnerability, placing second in the World Indoor Finals to none other than Lamont Marcel Jacobs. This was yet another remarkably close battle, as Jacobs managed to take down Coleman by less than one-tenth of a second. However, Coleman still ran very fast at 6.41. With drastically different running styles and very different specialties, it never seemed as though Lyles versus Coleman would be a real competition in the indoor 60. However, after the previous few weeks, that is exactly what is happening in this year's Milrose Games. Along with the two stars, Lyles and Coleman, this field includes Kendall Williams, Josephus Lyles, Kobe Hilton, Nicholas Arbor, Miles Lewis, and Travis Williams. This is a strong field, but most would agree that up to this point, the primary battle is again Lyles versus Coleman. And with such a hyped matchup, the final result certainly did not disappoint. Now, in breaking down this race, we have many things that many people did not expect to happen. After getting set in the blocks, the high schooler, Nicholas Arbor, raised his hand, and it actually appeared as though he might have false started here. But either way, the full field got a green card, and this eight-man race was set back once again. Now, it seemed as though this was the moment that we had all been waiting for, but with the ever-smallest of flinches, Noah Lyles appeared to have false started, and after about three to four minutes of review, they brought out a red card, signifying that Noah Lyles was in fact disqualified. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is a huge bummer. We really wanted to see this matchup between Noah Lyles and Christian Cole. Wait, is he staying in the race? I didn't know he could do that. Apparently there is some gray area outside of championship racing, where you can in fact run the race under protest. So even though his final result would not be official, Noah Lyles just stayed in the race, and the officials allowed this to happen. Now, you could make an argument that he was allowed to stay in this race, because his matchup with Coleman was certainly one of the most anticipated showdowns of the day. So even though he was officially disqualified, Noah Lyles still ran in this race. Finally, after a potential false start and an official false start, it was time to race. 
and with a superhuman start once again and powerful speed, Christian Coleman was simply uncatchable, and with a finishing time of 6.47 seconds, the man proved once again that his speed is nearly unbeatable when it comes to the 60-meter dash. This time now ranks number two in the world for 2023, but it is still quite the distance behind Trayvon Bromel. When we take a closer look at exactly what was happening in this race, something extremely interesting was going down over the final 30 meters. Again, Noah Lyles was officially disqualified here, so these results don't officially mean anything, but unofficially, what he did from the 40 meter mark to the 50 meter mark just might be one of the fastest speeds ever achieved in the 60 meter dash. Through 30 meters, Noah Lyles split a time of four seconds, which already placed him in second place up to this point, but he was still over a tenth of a second behind the brilliant starter, Christian Coleman. However, from 40 to 50 meters, Noah Lyles split a time of 0.81 seconds, which is absolutely incredible speed when it comes to the 60. In fact, if anyone ever manages this speed over the 100 meter dash, you're looking at one of the all-time greatest performances. So the fact that he achieved this split in a 60 meter dash, again speaks volumes about Noah Lyles' abilities when it comes to running extremely fast. Officially finishing in second was Travis Williams in 6.59, and finishing with a very close time in third was Josephus Lyles in 6.59 as well. The drama in this race was definitely atypical, but at the end of the day, both athletes ran very well, and Christian Coleman is officially back in the 60 meter dash. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.